Lately in Minecraft, I've been having a ton of fun messing around with minecart mechanics. First, we built an automatic mob mover that I would encourage you to go check out as soon as you are finished watching this video. Today, we are going to build a fully automatic minecart loader and unloader. So, you don't have to worry about a thing, just drop your items in the chest and away you go. This design is perfect for things like storage systems and furnace arrays. So, let's take a look at how to build it together. Most redstone contraptions have a predetermined footprint, but this minecart loader and unloader has a little bit of a flexible pattern. The main thing that you're going to want to focus on is the redstone circuit for the loader and also for the unloader. The item list is not too extensive either. You're going to need a few building blocks, a few chests, some power rails, a couple regular rails, one detector rail, and a minecart with a hopper. For the redstone for this design, you're going to need four hoppers, three comparators, two repeaters, three redstone torches, and a handful of redstone dust. The first thing that we're going to do for this design is place down some blocks for our rails to go on top of. At the very end of this line, you're going to need one regular rail with powered rails in between, and then one more regular rail at the end. First, let's focus in on the loader aspect of this design. We'll build up two more blocks right here with one powered rail right there, and then three more blocks right there. Having a solid block right here is very important because it will allow the minecart to stop when it reaches this powered rail and also to go the opposite direction once the rail becomes powered. And then we're gonna place a hopper directly on top of this powered rail, which will leave a gap with enough room for the minecart to start receiving items. As for the circuitry, we're going to place some foundational blocks in the shape of an L right here, and then two blocks above it, we're going to do a little bit of a reverse L just like so. Directly out of this hopper, we're going to place a comparator in subtract mode with another comparator facing into the side of it. Out of the back of that comparator, we're going to have another hopper. If you've seen some of my recent redstone designs, you've probably seen this mechanic, but we'll explain what it does here in just a moment. Next, we'll place down a couple of pieces of redstone dust right there with a redstone torch out of the side of this block, followed by redstone dust here, here, and here. Finally, we've got a redstone repeater right here. In this hopper right here, it is very important that you put exactly 32 items in any of these slots. If you don't have 32 items, this system could break at any point. If you don't have 32 items in this hopper, this system could break once this hopper completely fills up, if it ever does. Last but not least, we're gonna place down two chests right here and we are all set to go. This is a fully functioning circuit right now. As soon as a minecart hits this spot right here, as long as there are items in this hopper above 62 items, it will stop the minecart right here. If there are fewer than 62 items in this hopper right here, then the minecart will just grab a few and then keep rolling until this hopper can finally catch up. Rest assured, it will catch up and then eventually stop this minecart and send it back on its way. The next part of this build is the minecart unloader, which we're gonna start by placing another block right here with a powered rail and then two hoppers facing downward, just like so. And then we'll place three blocks just like that behind those hoppers. And then we need a detector rail on top of the hoppers with any kind of rail on top of this block right here, just temporarily so that it will elevate this detector. Now we can break this and place another solid block right here. This block will prevent the minecart from just traveling on over the side and it will eventually lock it once the circuit is in place to start unloading items into these hoppers. The circuitry for the minecart unloader is a lot less complex than the loader. All you need to do is start placing a block here, here, and here, and then we need one comparator facing out of this detector rail with a piece of redstone dust and a redstone torch out of the side of this block with a repeater facing into this powered rail and we are good to go. Once the minecart starts rolling down the track, if it has any items in it at all, it will signal this detector rail to power this comparator, which will power this dust and turn off this torch and turn off this repeater, which will turn off this powered rail. Now, powered rails will not allow a minecart to roll on them unless they are powered, so it will basically lock this minecart in place until there are no more items going through the system. Once the minecart is empty, it will send it back on over to pick up more items. Now, we don't wanna leave our items just chilling in a hopper here, so we'll go ahead and break this piece right here and this piece right here and place down a double chest 
which will eventually pick up all the items that we drop into there. And now we have a fully completed minecart loader and unloader. Let's say you've gotten back from a pretty large scale mining project. You have a ton of resources that you just want to dump into a system and carry it off into a remote storage location. So I've gone ahead and preloaded what you probably wouldn't get in a typical mining session, but that's just a lot of fun right there. I've also preloaded the hopper with five stacks of diamonds just to demonstrate how quickly this thing empties out in order for it to send it on its way. So the only thing left to do is to drop the minecart on the track and watch the magic happen. Just make sure you don't do like I do and forget to power the rails in between the minecart loader and unloader. Otherwise, this thing isn't going to work. There we go. And now we have a fully working system. Let's drop this minecart down and watch the magic happen. So if we open up this hopper right here, you're going to see these items just fly into that minecart hopper. Something about these mechanics just allows items to flow so fast from a hopper into a minecart hopper. You'll notice that this is unloading a lot slower than it was loading, and that's actually a good thing. If this thing is gonna take its time, it allows our hopper over here to refill with items so that it is filled up and ready to go once this minecart comes back to pick them up. And as you can see, this is about to run out of items, and once it hits zero, it is gonna send the minecart on back to the loading system to pick up even more items. Once again, as I've mentioned, this will wait for the minecart to be completely filled up as long as the hopper above it is full. And there we go. The minecart is on its way. It is completely filled up and ready to go into our storage. Let's say we've gone through our entire supply of items and all we have left are two stacks in this hopper. What's it gonna do when the minecart is not able to be completely filled up? Well, let's find that out together. This minecart is almost empty and ready to come pick up the last few items in the storage system. Let's go ahead and find out what happens here with the hopper that's not full. As you can see, it did not wait for the items to be fully filled in the minecart, and that is because of this little mechanic right back here. Now, this minecart should not stop anymore at this point at this powered rail. It should only pick up a few items at a time until we go ahead and fill this on back up. And eventually, once this is empty, the minecart will stop unloading at this place and it will just bounce back and forth until more items are inputted into the system. And that's it guys, the minecart loader and unloader Pretty simple to build, but huge applications in game. Let me know in the comments section if you're going to build this for your furnace arrays or your storage systems. Would love to know and see some pictures on Discord. Be sure to join my Discord community so we can check those out together. But thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day.